So uh, you, you had this PD, PD session. session. What did that actually look like? So, so it was gathering all the teachers together with their different technology devices. And that's the great thing about Mad Learn is that it allows us to use all different technology components that we have in our school district because we're so large. Um, it's very easy to use. So the teachers got to build their own app during the PD session so they could see what it's like. They could see um, maybe a struggling point for their students or something that their students are going to excel in. Um, and it's a great way for them to remove those barriers as educators that never experienced app development. Um, so, so they, they built those, they, they got, got to collaborate, collaborate with one another, they got, got to work with all different teachers from many different schools, um, and then they get to bring it back to their STEM academies. And we're going to be rolling it out over the course of nine weeks. Those apps that the students develop are then going to be showcased at an upcoming STEM expo that we'll be hosting. Let's talk about the STEM expo. Yes. <laughs> where, where, when, and who's invited? So, so this, this is exciting because this is going to be our seventh year of hosting the STEM Expo. Um, we're at a new location. We're at Pinellas Technical College, the St. Petersburg campus. They welcome us with open arms. It's a large campus. It has great technical focus. Um, and it's a good overlap for our students to see what careers, what co uh, content areas they could be interested in when they get older. Um, so, so it's going, going to be on Saturday, April 25th. And um, we're going to have students in 12th through all the way down to second grade. So there'll be about 260 STEM Academy showcasing everything that they were learning throughout the year. Uh, the, the other exciting thing is MadLearn Mad has been such a great partner with my department um, and has been so supportive of me. Um, Alethea is the founder of MadLearn, and she has a unique perspective because she's a female in the STEM field, developed this company, has really taken it to such a large platform, she just won an award for it. Um, and I have asked her to serve as our keynote speaker for the STEM Expo, so it's really exciting. That's, that really is great. So, um, students will bring projects that they've been working on? So, so they're going to showcase um, all the different uh, STEM concepts that they've been working on. So I try to break the year up into thirds so they're not doing one thing all year long. So Mad Learn for fourth grade is a nine week framework. Um, you'll see robotics there. You're going to see uh, robots that are called MBOTs, Ultimates. We have bridge building. We have engineering design. We have drones. Um, so there's a lot of different activities. It's overwhelming in a great STEM way. Is, is the general, general public invited? invited? Yes, yes. so I, it's free for um, anybody who is interested to come and see what we're doing in Pinellas County. It's, it's a great way for us to showcase how progressive we're being with STEM education, how we're setting the students up for success. Um, it's also building those soft skills that our employers want with uh, their future employees, our students. Um, so they get to present in front of adults, which can be intimidating. Um, they're presenting in front of other peers. The families get to meet uh, t other STEM Academy teachers that they would see in middle school, at high school. Um, and, and the nice thing is I also invite our community partners to help um, run the STEM Expo, so Duke Energy. They're such an outstanding partner with the STEM Academy program. Um, they go there, they showcase, sometimes they have an electric car, sometimes they have a bucket truck, sometimes they have a live line demonstration. So they're going to be showcasing their partnership with, with our STEM department. So all of this is April 25th at yes. the Technical, Technical College in St. Petersburg, and at start time? It's from, it starts at 9 o'clock, and um, we'll be posting more information on our district STEM website. Well, Laura, you are doing amazing things. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to me about it today, and uh, we'll keep an eye on all the other great things you have coming. Yes. Thank you for joining us today, and I uh, hope you'll join us next time for more interesting things happening in the world of digital learning at Pinellas County Schools.